Remember Obama, what he said? And by the way, Obama knew all about the scam. He knew all about this coup. He knew all about spying on my campaign. He knew everything. Somebody said, well, we can't go. You know, they have him called. They have him called. Remember, I said they were spying on my campaign a long time ago. The internet blew up. How dare he say that? How dare he? it turned out to be true? <laughs> and then it was the coup because I got in. Now they said, all right, he got in. We couldn't stop him. Now we're going to try taking it away. Can you believe it? This is the USA. No, seriously, can you believe it? And we caught him. All these text messages, and from what I hear, they have some real beauties coming out over the next couple of days. So stay tuned. <laughs> But somebody said, oh, you can't do that. He was president. Well, I'm president, too, and they would not stop, I promise. These people are sick. They're bad people. Remember when Biden said, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security. He meant this. He said, when I argued and he wanted to freeze all, spe all this federal spending, he wanted to He's not going to take care of your Medicare. He's not going to take care of your Social Security. And if he gets in, he's going to have nothing to say, because the radical left will control it, and he's going to do socialized medicine as sure as you're sitting or standing there. I don't know. I can't even tell the hell difference. You're sitting. Isn't it nice we got seats for people? Who, does, who would do that? Look at all the police back there. What, are they the greatest? They're great people. We got so many endorsements, I don't even talk about them anymore. We have so many police endorsements. New York City's finest. Never did it before. They endorse, they endorse me. They endorse us for president. They could solve that problem in New York. All they'd have to do is let them do their job and don't take a billion dollars away and fire some of the best people on the force, which is what they did. We got Chicago. Think of that Chicago police endorsement. How about that? That's not easy to do. You're dealing with radical left people. We got endorsed by all the sheriffs in Florida, all law enforcement in Florida. We got endorsed by Texas, Oklahoma. We got endorsed by — does anybody know of any police area or group that has not endorsed us? We're looking for them. We're looking for them. Now Biden is pledging to give federal health care to illegal aliens, which is decimating Medicare. Just so you understand, we all have heart. We want to help people. But the problem is, when you say that, people that never even thought of coming to the United States say, let's go. Where are we going? We get free education. We get free Medicare, free health care. And then I jokingly said one time, everybody gets a beautiful, brand-new Rolls Royce, and CNN said, he lied. He said that all illegal immigrants got a $750,000 car. It's true. They said he lied. I didn't. I was only kidding. They said, they said I lied over the Rolls Royce. They all said, do you remember when I said, Russia, if you're listening, find her emails or whatever the hell I said. Find her emails. And then we all left together, 25,000 people in the stadium on television. Look at all the cameras on television. Look at those people. Look at all those red lights that are going on. They're standing in the rain just like I am, but they don't like it. But do you remember? But the problem is they cut it off exactly before we all started to laugh together, right? And for two years, they've been saying, he dealt with Russia. He asked Russia to please get her emails or whatever the hell we were asking for. Russia, if you're listening, please get the whole place cracks up along with me. In fact, they cut off my last word. You know, they got to cut it sharp because they don't want to see any sign. This is how dishonesty is. They are really, I'll tell you, they are so bad for the country. But I'll take it back for right now because right now it's live all over the place. We'll let it go. You know what? Let's say it at the end instead.
Because so often I'll say, you know, they're CNN, they're totally corrupt, they're fake, and you see the light go off the red, like... <laughs> and I said, I gotta stop saying that. You think it's wet enough out here? They all said, sir, would you need a hat? I said, what the hell hat is gonna match this beautiful tie that I've just... I got a red one, I don't know, red and whatever the hell color this is. Red is not gonna go well with this color. No, it's fine. I like seeing the rain with my friends from Pennsylvania. I don't care. We're in the rain together. Right? We're in the rain together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're in the rain together. That's all right. We'll stay out here all night if we have to, right? But I'll tell you, uh, so many interesting things are going on. When I look at their plans, did you see their plans, the manifesto? That's the Bernie Sanders and AOC manifesto. So normally when you negotiate with communists, because I don't think it's social. Haven't they gone over the, th I don't think it's, this is no longer socialism. We're dealing with worse than socialism. This is communism. But when you deal with socialist communism, you know, you're supposed to bring them a little bit to the right, right? You know, you're a Democrat, you bring, they brought, they started with a plan and they went further left. This plan is the most horrible. We call it the manifesto. Bernie Sanders, crazy Bernie. But you know the one thing they agree with us on trade, because we are being ripped off by so many countries, I've stopped a lot of it. I mean, I had to devote a lot of time to a fake impeachment. Now you see how fake the impeachment was. What about Biden's son getting three and a half million dollars, right? From the wife of the mayor of Moscow. And then they say, Donald Trump is dealing with Russia. Donald Trump, I never even made a call. Donald Trump is dealing. This guy got three and a half million dollars from the wife of the mayor of Moscow. What the hell was that for? Probably his great experience in energy, but he didn't have that. And then it revealed yesterday that he got a lot more money from China than we thought, and he got a lot more money, right? It's just all stuff. It's, it's like perfect. It's like unbelievable. But he got a lot more money from China, and the hundred, the 83 or 63,000 a month that he was getting, now it looks like it was 183,000 a month. And he got an upfront payment of $3 million from Ukraine. And this is because of his great knowledge of energy, but he had none. They said, do you know anything about energy? No, I don't happen to know anything. Oh. And then the father called for the prosecutor, get him out or you're not getting your billion dollars from the United States. Whoa, they got him out and here's your billion. That's not a quid pro quo, right? But a perfect phone call is a quid pro quo where nothing was wrong. It's a disgrace.